there. So with most of my suits, uh, my, most of my suits have new things added and things adjusted. So I thought I'd do a suit up video of all of them at once. So first I wanted to make a little series, do suit pursuit. So I have three suits that I currently use and I'm just going to do it about those three suits. I have one other partial called Amy. She's a dwarf goat, but I actually don't really wear her at all. So I'm just going to do my three main sonas and then show you how I suit up in them and how they work. So first of all is Rika, of course. She's on the floor, like always. And I'm going to start with her arm sleeves. So these actually go under my shirt, so I have to take my shirt off, which obviously I'm not showing. But these go to the back of my neck, like this. And I put my arms in, and the elastic keeps the arms from falling off, which I'm going to do right now. Alright, this is what it looks like, it's just coming out my shirt. And I made these arm sleeves, like, um, uh, a day before a furry con called Reafurance. So they're a bit rushed and they're not perfect. But they work as arm sleeves. So the second thing I put up for Rika is a tail. She's a partial, uh, or I guess like, yeah, I think she's a, she's a full partial at this point. Uh, so the tail is just with a belt, blah blah blah. Everyone knows. There we go. And Rika is the only belt I have that is a regular belt. The other ones all have like a sliding system. Unfortunately, I always have this thing hanging on so I just pull it through the other side of the belt a couple of times and you will see like a little hump I guess of where it is but there is the blue tail yeah okay so um where the heck is my super professional here's my balaclava which I use I wear with most of my heads sometimes with Ravi I go without balaclava because uh, the head is really tight and sometimes those few millimeters <laughs> give me a slight discomfort okay so i put um i don't know why i, I put the belt club on first but uh yesterday i made sock paws for rika i wanted sock paws for a very long time unfortunately they aren't very good uh these are my third pair i attempted to make for rika so this is the underside uh, for some reason, I cannot make feet paws. They're just really hard. Okay, so this is the right one. There we go. But I always adored the look of sock paws. Like, the way they realistically move and stuff. I mean, they don't look realistic at all. Like, for God's sake, they're blue. But, like, they're quite movable. There we go. So, the left one was so fucked up. So I made a new one, because the left one's actually right here. <laughs> I hated this paw, look at this. So I remade it, and now they look like this. Stumpy sock paws. Alright, let's get on with the, my favorite part of Rika, which is the head. And she features with a moving jaw. The base was made by New Creations, and I furred it. And she has a little silicone tongue uh, made by Hellcharm and the teeth set also made by New Creations. And the tongue is actually attached by Velcro, so I can move it, can take it out. Okay, let's put her on. She has two elastic straps on the back. And what I do to put her on is like I do with almost all of my heads. I put my head partially in and then I pull the elastic band to the back and she's pretty much already on. There we go. So smooth. <laughs> there we go. Takes a while to move the head around so the moving jaw works perfectly, but okay. Last thing is Rika's paws. Our hand paws are made by Lich Fursuits and they're completely fucked at this point from children pulling at it. I need new paws. So, uh, when I put my paws over my arm sleeves, I hold this when I slide the paw in. There we go. And then I release my fingers and put them in the finger slot to make it as smooth as possible. Okay, let's try with this. Second paw is always difficult to put on because you don't have a lot of grip with four paw pads. But yes, 
fingers are kind of fucked, uh, the hand paws are kind of fucked, but what are you going to do about it? There we go, it's Rika. She is one of my favorite suits to wear because she represents me fully and just, she's just all pretty and blue. And now she has feetsies. <laughs> this is the first time me wearing her with the feet paws, so let's just, yeah. <laughs> That's for suit number one, it's Rika! <laughs> and I really enjoy seeing myself in the camera with the suit on, because it's just me. So let's get to the second suit, which is going to be Maeve. She's a bit more difficult to put on, so let's do it. Alright, so in the case of Maeve, she has a half suit, which is this part. I made this, this I made myself, all hand sewn. And the reason I already have it on is because I have nothing underneath it and I don't want to put that online, so uh, I first made this and then I made these handy little things so they attach, they go around my legs and they attach to little clicky thingies <laughs> on the other side of the suit so there we go so the half suit like doesn't really pull up too much so the only thing that really pulls up from it is the back side so I might be able to attach more of them that's it and then I put my pants, my regular pants, back over the, the half suit to kind of hide where it stops. So I usually pull it up a bit higher, so it has even less chance of pulling back up, especially in the back of it. Okay, there we go. Put it back in. Yeah, the only downside of this is that you will see the belt of the tail because it goes over it all. Otherwise I'll have to make a hole in my pants, which I'm not going to do. All right. I always wanted Maeve to be a full suit, but because I don't know how to make a full suit and budgetary reasons, uh, I actually commissioned a very cheap full suit for Maeve, but I haven't really heard much of it. So I made a half suit of her myself, which also works. All right. So let's pull the tail on, there it goes. So you will see the belt, unfortunately, but you know, her tail is on. This tail was made by Fur, Fun and More on Etsy. And let's get on to the head. Let me see where my balaclava is, there it is. With Maeve, I usually wear a balaclava, otherwise the head kind of moves around a bit too much. Let's get her, her head is still here. Because I wore her yesterday and she's drying. And one, two, up. This suit is very difficult to maintain because of the wig. And the wig is actually made of real hair. Uh, so, yeah, I wash it with conditioner uh, as much as I can. So, Maeve, I put on Maeve the exact same way as I put on Rika. Put my head partially in and I pull the elastic bands over my head. There we go tight squeeze all right then it's important because the hair gets the tends to get stuck on the back there and then pull down the neck and there's the head um and then the paws all right here um so i made the paws and the bodysuit the head was made by crystal craft um 86 i think the number was um and there are a very talented sue maker. Look at her. She's gorgeous. All right. Put on the paws. She originally had paws with five fingers. Because Maeve has five fingers. But I lost one of the two of those paws. So these are actually her prototype paws. Um, and I don't have enough fabric to make new ones. So now she has um, four fingered paws. There we go. This is Maeve. She is my feminine, sexy, bisexual, um, leggy girl, maned wolf character. So she is my only persona that isn't an actual wolf. She's a maned wolf, which is this animal. And she does actually have a set of um, magnetic eyelids, which I'm going to just show in a There you go. Oh no, human hands. <laughs> These, this set actually came with the suit so the magnet is actually hidden within it so you put these on like this 
takes a little bit to find the right position and then she looks a little bit more sassy. Uh, when I go out suiting, I usually take the eyelids off for better vision. So these are her set of eyelids she came with. And then there is another pair that I made myself. And these are her sexy <laughs> eyelids. Uh, these are a little less sturdy because I made them myself and the magnets aren't that great. This is her sassy, sexy look. Um, and I like it a lot, but I cannot see anything when I have these on, <laughs> which is an issue. So I can't really wear them, but it, it's fun for like small videos or to have her change her expression and stuff. Uh, but usually I wear her like this. And so that's Maeve. Yeah, this is how I put on Maeve. And I love Maeve. She is a fursona, but she's also part of a, a kind of character because she has characteristics that are slightly different from my own. But mostly she's a fursona. She's like my more feminine side, my more um, sexual side. This is not, I just wanted to clarify, this is not a mer suit. Um, personally, I'm not into that. But it's just a character that I can express myself with. And yeah, that's Maeve. Okay, now it's time for my most difficult suit to put on, and it's actually Ravi. And Ravi isn't really, like, she doesn't have a lot of suit parts, but she has a uh, difficult suit parts. So this is usually the under armor I would wear, my under armor little shorts there, and then a very loose fitting t-shirt, because I have to put two t-shirts over the other to hide the mechanism of the tail. Speaking of, there it is. Now this contraption of this tail is very difficult because it's actually a prosthetic tail and it kind of follows your body movement, mainly your shoulders. So your shoulders are actually the way you puppeteer the tail. Let me see if I can show it. So if I pull on this, there we go. And if I pull on that one, there it goes. So it's a very difficult contraption, but once you start putting it on, it's, it's not that difficult. This uh, is made by um, Aurora Studios from Poland and it's fully custom made so but I had to fix it had some issues when it came in it didn't really work so I had to fix a lot of those issues myself but actually I made an elastic strap between these I made these shorter and I put uh, this elastic band actually around this and this tail I'm not gonna lie it's quite uncomfortable doesn't feel very good on my body but the end result is really cool so let's start by putting it on shall we okay so you put it against your back like this so mostly it attaches to your lower back and then first you close both of these and you can kind of um, make them a bit more tight if necessary there we go and then secondly, these look a lot like the ones I've installed for Maeve. These go around my legs. So they go around my legs and they attach like this if my t-shirt isn't in between them. There we go. And then I do the same for the other side. Okay, you kind of have to, because it's a very tight fit, so you kind of have to pull it around. Okay, that one's attached. Wonderful. Next are the shoulder straps. So you kind of, you see if they're okay, then you kind of slide these on and you pull them as high up as you can on your shoulders. There we go. And then I got an extra pair, of, like an extra belt, another pair of belts, one belt is enough. And I pull these through the loops because otherwise they fall off. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And I bring this up as tight as I can. So there we go. If you happen to also own one of these type of tails, uh, please let me know. Also, uh, Aurora Studios are open for commission for these tails. So they're Aurora Studios with two O's um, on Etsy. So if you want one of these tails, they cost like 300 euros, which honestly, it's not that bad. Okay, the last part is attaching this, which I also added myself. Uh, it's a bit difficult because I can't see and I kind of have to navigate where it is. Okay, so just 
close this. And yeah, it's closed. So this is the whole mechanism for the tail. So when I lean this side, the tail perks up. And there we go. There, there, there's a lot of movements it can do. Mostly it curls from one side to another. And when you pull it up, it curls a bit like this as well. And then you can just, you know, make it whack, make it slope down, curl up again. You know, it took a, uh, a while for me to learn how it worked. And also it's really hot, especially the tail on my back. But it's a cool way to express yourself. Like, I personally really love having a tail. All right, secondly are her arm sleeves. There we go. I, I made these arm sleeves myself. And then put this on. Most of my suits are like made by lots of different makers over time. Mostly because of, you know, money. <laughs> so you put these over here. There we go. And over here. And then when the arm sleeves are on, you can go ahead, I can go ahead and put my pants uh, back on. Luckily, so first I usually do the t-shirt, there we go, and I usually pick a t-shirt with wolves on it or something uh, of nature on it because Ravi likes to wear those. Okay, and the reason I wear two t-shirts is one, to hide the mechanism, and two, if the mechanism is on my bare skin, it hurts a lot. So, there we go. It's all non-electric which is really handy because you never have to worry about it making noise. I have an electric animatronic tail and it's super duper loud. Like, holy crap. Uh, it's from the tail company, uh, but it's a prototype. So it, it, it breaks down pretty much all of the time. Uh, then I put on my pants, which is always very interesting to look at there. So I don't have a hole in my pants for the tail because obviously, so I slide this over the mechanism and under the tail as best as I can. There we go. So it goes under the tail and the t-shirt goes over it. So now the full mechanism of it is hidden and I can move and wag my tail. Second is the head. This head is made by um, the Forgotten Imp and she's old. I mean, she's not old, old. She's from 2019. So she's my oldest suit I have. I mean, obviously Rico is first, but that was Rika 1.0 and then Ravi came and then Rika 2.0, 3.0 and then 3.5 and then uh, 4 right there. So Ravi works the same way. So first the Forgotten Imp made her with a um, construction helmet thing under it. So not the helmet itself, but the way it, the helmet attaches to your head. So you have to put your head in it close it on the back and make it as tight as possible. Now, the way that was made, um, your actual eyes are way in the back, so you could barely see anything. So I took that entire thing out, so I could push my head as close to the eye mesh as possible, and now my field of vision has tripled in Ravi than it was before, like three times better. And I put some foam on the top of it so it isn't too hard and then I put two elastic bands and honestly it fits better than the mechanism it had before so I, I put a lot of things into Ravi I I consistently made her neck smaller and smaller because she was very let, let me see if I can find a picture she's very poofy uh, which in the beginning I liked but now I like her to be more streamlined so let's put her on put my chin on the mouth mechanism and pull it back Yay! So then I try and, and fit the head a bit more, so it's, it's, yeah, cool, all right. Last but not least, it's the hand paws. <laughs> and I do it the exact same way, so I put my hand like this, and then I put on, I, that's the wrong one, of course. <laughs> I put on the hand paws, and these are five fingers. Which actually makes it a bit easier, because you have better grip on them. And there you go. Ravi is on. There she is. So let me explain how I move the tail. So I already kind of did, but a lot of the movements comes from the hips. So if I wanted to whack, I'll just slightly rock my hips back and forth and it'll whack. Now, when you want to display a realistic wagging motion, you have to make sure that the tail wagging 
uh, has more movement and it's more noticeable than your hips. Because with the ragdoll tail I have for Ravi, which I might show in it, well, hold on. Let's see if the, no, it's not long enough. I'll show it in a minute. So this is um, Ravi's ragdoll tail. It's a real tail. I think it's a silver fox tail or no crystal fox tail. That's what it was. Um, I wouldn't recommend using real fur for any of your suits uh, because it can be damaged. Um, but still, yeah, this is her ragdoll tail that I use when I don't want to wear the full contraption, and it's very loose and it moves a lot. Um, it does move, but you have to rock your hips like this, and it's very noticeable. So you rock your hips slightly. And already moves a lot and you can't really notice the the hips moving and then when you want to help it a bit you go like this with your shoulders and there it goes so that's how i do the wagging motion and then i'll just go like this and like this and just pull my shoulders up to pull the tail and then i pull both of them like this to curl it there you go so it, it's basically a soft puppeteering tail and it's super duper cool and I love the way Ravi looks, she's realistic, she's gorgeous, and yeah, when I go outside suiting, because I go outside quite a bit, I go in the woods, go for a walk, I mostly wear Ravi, because Ravi is the most well-known character in uh, my town, so people instantly know it's me, and to cons, I wear Rika, because like she's my main persona, and also people recognize her the most, so... Let me get on my knees for you. Thank you so much for watching this video about my suits. If you have any more questions, go ahead and ask them. <laughs> uh, I'd be glad to answer. And yeah, thank you.